Hi everyone, I'm Ian Campbell, and I'm super excited to attend my first virtual simulation world event with ANSYS. I'm an engineer, so the future of engineering gets me really excited, and that's what simulation world is all about. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. But before we talk about the future of engineering, I want to talk, I want to go back in time for a minute and talk about the history of engineering tools. We engineers are only as good as our tools. And as our tools evolve, so does our capacity to engineer. 2000 years ago, Roman engineers used abacuses to design aqueducts, roads, beautiful palaces, and pretty much all of uh, Roman Europe. More recently, in the last century, engineers used crude pocket calculators to land a man on the moon. When I was trained to become an aerospace engineer at Georgia Tech, I used desktop simulation tools to design things like UAVs, what the kids these days call drones. But now, my fellow engineers, we're at the dawn of a new era in engineering tools, cloud engineering simulation. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about what cloud simulation means to us at OnScale and now ANSYS. Cloud engineering simulation takes powerful, proven multi-physics solvers, combines them with on-demand cloud supercomputers brought to us by our cloud partners. And we're able to offer all of this on a very flexible SaaS software as a service uh, business model. What does that mean for you, the engineer? Well, this helps you, this helps you break licensing and compute barriers to get your engineering work done. Currently, most engineers buy a license of a desktop simulation tool. There's a one engineer, one license model, and they're limited to the compute power that they have on that one desktop. And for that reason, they're only able to run one simulation at a time in a very serial process. With OnScale and with cloud simulation, we can now go to a, a multi-tenant model. So there is no concept of licenses. Uh, we can provide engineers with access to practically limitless compute power on the cloud. And this enables them to run practically limitless numbers of simulations or very, very large simulations and get the engineering insights that they need to get faster. How do engineers use OnScale? Well, one of two ways. Engineers can either use OnScale to run lots of small simulations or things like uh, design, sp design space exploration and um, multidisciplinary design optimization. That's things that we call uh, digital prototyping. And then when you've got a, a good design that you wanna focus in on, you can use multi-physics and cloud simulation to create true 3D digital prototypes. A digital prototype to us means a virtual prototype that can give you as much engineering information about how a device will work before you go spend a bunch of time, cost, uh, and risk to make a physical prototype to validate the design. We're very proud of the integration that we've built with Onshape. Onshape is the world's first cloud CAD tool, and we are the world's first uh, cloud engineering simulation platform. So naturally, we coupled our simulation with Onshape. And with this coupling, engineers can go from designing a device using Onshape CAD, right? In a, web browser, send that de uh, device design to OnScale or designs. It could be a parametric CAD model with many different designs. The engineer can set up the simulation once, again, using just a, a web browser. There's no file transfers back and forth. There's no downloading files and uploading files. The engineer can then edit scripts if the engineer wants to. And then the engineer can run all of the simulations that the engineer needs to run in parallel on the OnScale cloud, determine what the optimal design is, and then tag that configuration uh, back in their Onshape CAD. So this is a true end-to-end -end CAD and simulation workflow that's completely cloud-based. It's 100% web-based and runs inside of a, a Chrome web browser. So next, I want to show you a couple of examples. So this is an example of a mechanical structure that was designed to uh, deform in a specific way and not exceed the yield stress of the material. 
And again, this was done completely inside of a web browser. This was many hundreds of thousands of degrees of freedom. And this simulation was able to execute in a matter of seconds. This next simulation is from an FDA nozzle study. This is a classic CFD benchmarking study. And we're able to show that we can replicate the results of much more expensive, much more uh, time-consuming CFD simulations, but using our uh, CFD solvers running on cloud supercomputers. Sim AI is a powerful new simulation use case. This is the concept where an engineer can train an AI model using simulated data. So rather than going and building a bunch of prototypes, collecting data from physical devices and using that data to train AI, the engineer can simply train uh, AI using simulated data sets. So think, for example, of a, a sensor inside of an embedded, embedded system, and you're training AI to, uh, to manage the system using the sensor data. You could, for example, take that, you could build a physical prototype of that device, put it in all of the different environments that that device will experience and collect physical data. But of course that would be incredibly expensive. And instead you can just simulate that device in various environmental conditions, build a, a massive data set and use that to train your AI. And then when you've actually got the device out in the world, you can uh, start feeding back physical data from a digital twin feedback loop into that uh, training set to retrain the AI and make it better uh, once you've got products that are out in the physical world. So you can do all this for much less than the uh, cost and time to create physical data sets. So I want to give a shout out to one of our customers, an engineer named Matt at Ascensus Surgical. Ascensus is using OnScale and OnShape together for full CAD and simulation workflows on the cloud. And they're using these technologies to, to develop uh, surgical robots. It's a really fascinating uh, application. It's the future of surgery. Uh, he says he's very excited about OnScale and cloud-based supercomputing. He thinks that OnShape and OnScale are, are redefining collaboration and ease of design. Uh, when all of your designs exist in the cloud, it's very easy to collaborate with your fellow engineers, no matter where they are in the world. You can do this in a 100% remote fashion, if you like. Um, and this truly is the, the future of engineering uh, as we see it. So we're really excited to see uh, more engineers adopt this cloud simulation workflow. And we're really excited to now be a part of ANSYS. Uh, I think the the acquisition makes a ton of sense because OnScale has the best cloud simulation platform, uh, truly leveraging cloud supercomputers to run simulations. And then ANSYS has the world's best engineering solvers. Uh, I've been using ANSYS you know, ever since I was uh, an undergrad mechanical engineer. And uh, they truly have the, the best solver IP. So now our, our mission is to combine those market beating solvers with our cloud simulation platform and deliver better and better engineering tools to engineers like you so that you can uh, bring us the future. And that's the most exciting part about my job is being able to talk to engineers around the world, understand what they're working on and deliver better engineering simulation capabilities so that they can get their jobs done better, faster and with less risk. So I'll leave you with a question. What will you engineer with cloud engineering simulation?